Today in the edition of Handy Dandy Guide to Aspen X2 Gradebook, I'm gonna be showing you how to get to Aspen X2 Gradebook, and I'm gonna be talking about your home screen. So the first thing we ought to do is try to get into Aspen X2 Gradebook. You can bookmark that in your, um, you the top of your computer. I have all of my daily things booked, so of course I can get into Aspen X2 very quickly. But if you're gonna go straight from um, scratch, I suggest this is the fastest way to do it. Go into Google and if you type X2 Aspen Nashua, there's a lot of different cities that have Aspen. So you wanna make sure that you type in Nashua in your search. So it'll pop up first. Once you get into there, you can log into Aspen. You can see your district login. You're gonna use your district password and log in. Now, for some reason, it doesn't show you anything until you hit this home button. So I'm gonna hit that home button and go over some of these teacher resources for you. Kronos is how you punch in if you didn't do that in the office on the hard wall um, punch-in system. You can actually sign into Kronos during the day and take your own attendance. Frontline is how you um, look for a substitute, uh, sign up for a substitute. Nashua School District website is linked here, but I will give you a clue. When you go into the Nashua School District website, you will not have anything accessible to teachers unless you sign in. So there's a button here that you can sign in as a teacher, and then you will see a teacher bar come up and give you access to more information. Outlook is, of course, the district email. We have an events cal a calendar if you want to request a facility within the district, the DCYF intake form how to do field trip forms, technology orderable items. Those are the things that you're allowed to order in the district. You can't just bring in non-approved items. App vetting, there are some um, internet apps and um, websites that are approved in the district and some that are not. So you can get that here. SAS testing, when you need to go in and to either become certified or give the SAS testing for your students. This is the TIDE portal. You can log into the New Hampshire DOE through here. This is Elevation, it's the ELL resources that every teacher has in the district. Over here, this is TEVAL. TEVAL is how your principals, um, where they put their observations of you, where you can read them and respond, as well as your evaluations during the year. iReady is a district program. If you have it, you'll know it. Naviance is more guidance related and high school related. ESS is your employee services system. So anything about your employment status in Nashua, your paychecks, your deductions, that will all be in ESS. And as I understand it, you can't get into ESS unless you're on a district computer. I'm not entirely sure of that, but I believe it's true. There's some professional eBooks, um, a field trip directions, some curriculum links here, and some more ELL resources. As you go across the top of your screen, you can go into a My Info tab that will give information about you as a teacher, your student tab, which I will not open to release um, student information, but when you click on this, it will show all of your students that you have in that trimester, along with their information. Um, this is a tab that you'll use frequently. Attendance is for your first um, class or your advisory daily in the morning, however your school takes attendance, um, usually by 8, 10 a.m. Gradebook, if you open up Gradebook, you can see the different classes that you have. I won't open those now for information purposes, but we'll do Gradebook in a different, um, different tutorial video. There's other things up here that I really have not explored, um, so feel free to if you would like to. If I go back to Pages, I've got to click on the home to see my screen. Down below, you should be able to see your classes as well. And this is also, you can go right into your grade book this way. You can also email parents um, directly through here as well. This is the task section. This is where you'll go in to initiate certain things that you need to do, either for conduct referral, sometimes as a professional um, visitation, there's a workshop request. When someone says initiate a task, this is where you're gonna go. I'll do a separate video on conduct referrals. Closing that out, let's see, go back up. I think that's about it for the home page. Um, oh, on the side there's academics. I don't know how often this is updated. It should automatically have your taught subject with your grade levels. If I go into my grade level, I can see here's my the last time the curriculum was redone. If I go in here, I can get access to the curriculum resources here. Um, I haven't played around too much with this but feel free to do so in your free time. 
All right, that's all for Aspen X2 front page um, home screen. Have a great day.